Welcome to this Looker guide focused on liquid variables. Today, we'll dive deep into the world of liquid variables in Looker, and I'll show you how to harness their dynamic capabilities to supercharge your dashboards and LookML models. To follow along, you'll need access to a Looker instance, an understanding of LookML and its components, and some familiarity with basic programming concepts. Liquid variables are powerful tools in Looker, enabling you to inject dynamic content, control logic flow, and personalize user experiences on the fly. Let's get started by accessing our LookML project. Log in to your Looker platform, and remember to have development mode enabled. Then click on develop and find your desired project. For this example, we'll modify the order items view by adding a new dimension. This dimension will calculate the sale price depending on a given currency exchange rate. And finally, this exchange rate will be defined by a user attribute. Let's start by locating the sale price dimension, as we'll create the new dimension right below. And let's also open a new tab with the orders explorer, as this will allow us to see the changes we make with our liquid variables. Once our explorer is finally open, let's look for order items. Then we'll click on order ID and sale price. After we click run, this will show us different orders and their associated sale price. It's a great starting point to see how things look before we implement anything. So let's go back to our view and before we add our new dimension, let's open up a new tab with the admin panel. Here we'll look for user attributes. User attributes provide a customized experience for each Looker user. A Looker admin defines a user attribute and then applies a user attribute value to a user group or individual users. We'll name this user attribute currency exchange rate. And various places throughout Looker can reference the user attributes to provide a custom experience for each user. In this case, we'll set it in stone for my user, but keep in mind that admins can also define user attributes for which the users themselves can provide the value, such as passwords or contact information. And let's not forget to change the type to number, because otherwise we won't be able to do any operations with this user attribute. And now that it's done, let's assign it to my own user. And as we can see, there's our default value, but we'll create a new one just so we can see more clearly which one Looker is actually using. And Looker automatically includes some user attributes, such as the email, first name, last name, IDs, and time zones. But try to make your user attributes as meaningful as possible so you don't overcomplicate things. And now we can proceed to create our new dimension, and we'll call it sale price converted. Just so we can keep track of the original and the one that uses the exchange rate. We'll define the type as number so we can use it with other numeric variables. And for the SQL is where the magic happens. Here we'll take the sale price value from the table we're operating on. And then we'll multiply it by the new user attribute we just created. And remember to use the correct syntax because otherwise it will not work. So we write our double brackets and inside we use underscore user underscore attributes, regular brackets, and then we call our user attribute as a string. And this should be enough for Looker to correctly reference our user attribute. So let's save our changes. And now let's validate our LookML. Great. So now let's go to our Explorer and see the difference. So let's refresh the website, go to ordered items, and add the new one, the sale price converted. And we click Run. And now we can see the difference, which would be the sale price times our exchange rate. And remember that you can keep adding new attributes to users or groups, giving you endless possibilities. But do you know what's cooler than that? Our last and quickest example, in which we'll use Liquid to dynamically insert values into a URL. The possibilities are endless with this, so pay attention. Just as we did before, all we need to do is insert our values using the correct syntax. And I'm pretty sure you already got the hang of it, but liquid variables will most likely be limited only by your creativity and how to use it. So in this case, we just added custom links to values from our tables. Imagine how much value we can bring to our users with this. I can keep talking about liquid for hours, but for now, let's leave it there. If you need help managing your Looker instance, look no further. We are a full service Looker consulting firm. We partner with Looker to help businesses maximize their analytics capabilities. We would be happy to meet with you to discuss your current Looker objectives and help you implement them. You can use the link below to connect with us. And until next time.